Alistair, uh, absolutely beautiful location here. I mean, whereabouts are we here? We're in uh, Cornubia, which is uh, halfway between Brisbane and, and the Gold Coast. Now, it's kind of like a foresty kind of a space here, and the, the blocks are really big. So, I mean, this is a big block too, isn't it? Yeah, it's one and a half acres. Okay. Yeah, so it's, a, it's a quite a big space for a, a landscaper to let his imagination run wild. And have you done that here? Definitely. Okay, well, Definitely. Can, we, can we have a look around? We'd, I'd love to show you. Let's do it. Let's go. Alistair, absolutely wonderful um, garden um, and obviously tailored around a family. Uh, it's a family that lives here, is it? Yeah, it's a family with three kids. Okay. So we want to get the most out of this place with the kids. So it's all about having the kids interacting with the gardens. Yep. Get them off the TV, get yep. them out playing, running over bridges, yeah. uh, climbing up ladders. That's what we want to do. That's what this whole garden's being based around. Okay, because they've got their own adventure playground. They do, yeah. I mean, they're it's, pretty spoiled. It's... It, <laughs> If I, if I was a kid, I'd want this place. Yeah, yeah. I'd definitely want to be a kid again. And the adults have got theirs right here. The adults have their playground just outside their doorstep. It's yep. not too far away, but it's it's that right distance away from the house. Now, um, one and a half acres here, and there was a lot of um, plants, existing plants here, wasn't there? Yeah, so there was there was a lot of existing trees. We had, we had to work out what we're going to keep and what we're going to not. So obviously we wanted to, to use as much as we can. We were creating very natural places. Yeah. What we did, especially with the, the Adventure Playground, is we used the three main gum trees yeah. to, to, to walk through the yeah. kids. So we made these... It's amazing. Yeah, they're, they're fantastic. So And a flying fox, obviously. You need a really good sturdy tree to hang those off. Yeah, so the flying fox was a must <laughs> for the kids. So. so I've noticed that there's no pool fence here. How do you get away with that? So the regulations, you've got to have 1.2 yep. from an inner arc. So if you hold a tape measure from the corner's first point yep. and you, you have that 1.2 arc, it's pool compliant. So we made the infinity edge okay. pool fence. I love this. It's almost creates its own moat, if you like, so, so the kids can't get in the pool. I also love the idea of the towel rails. Yeah. They've got like a feature of the, of the whole garden as well. No, definitely. I mean, it's, it's obviously you've got to have, you, I, I hate seeing when you've got towels sitting on, on the pool fence. Yeah. Yeah, you see it all the time and yep. it's just a nice place. It's on the house, it's yep. out of the way. Now also, um, there's so many layers to this garden. I mean, um, obviously the, at the back it, it layers upwards. Obviously that's because of the sloping side. Yeah. Why wouldn't you just um, have, have the hill go up? Why did, you, why, did you, why did you layer it? We layered it obviously for lawn space. Lawn space is very valuable for the kids to play on. Yep. So we want the kids to kick the ball around. We want them to have a big open lawn. So I think on the day we cut 300 cubic meters Wow. In one day, uh, which is about almost the size of the house. Wow. So what did you do with it? We, the owner has another block, another couple of acres next door, and we, we built a, a motocross track. Oh, wow. So we, we had fun with that, and uh, at lunch breaks we were, we were mucking around on the motorbikes. <laughs> so we, we had a lot of fun in, in building that as well. So were you actually here building with your own hands as well? Yeah, so I'm, I'm also um, a landscaper yep. by trade and, and also uh, help manage the, the design team yep. as well. So It's great. Um, garden art plays a big part in this garden. Um, obviously the sculpture that, that's been chosen at the front from Lomp, but also the kids' garden has got some art pieces as well. They do. It's really funky. There's metal art and it's got, got uh, dragonflies and butterflies and it's all positioned around the kids. Uh, they've got their own little garden where they can, they've got little annuals where they can, they can replant, uh, they can make their own garden. So it's all, about, it's all about the little girl. Okay. So she loves flowers. So we wanted to create, we've got the kids' room and then that's their little area. It's private, it's secluded, they're yep. safe. Yep. And, they, and they can play around in the garden. Now the pool house also looks looks like the house as well. So yeah. that, that was obviously a consideration. So they've got the same the same modules as the house. So you're using the same same sort of materials from the house and you're incorporating that back into your, your landscape design. Um, now pool equipment is pretty ugly. Um, I can't see any pool equipment here at all. It's all tucked away in this, this great box behind the pool. So just some nice um, 60 by, by uh, 42 mil um, spotted gum. Yep. Just on a vertical and different sizes, just yeah. to give a different element. Well, I guess what we want to know is price. I mean, what, what was the cost of the, of, of the landscape? So it wasn't cheap. Okay, of course, it's yeah. big. But they got so much value and so much worth and a lot of use out of this place. Yep. It was just shy over 700000 for wow. the exterior's work. That's so, great. Um, That's awesome. You've been great, Alistair. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much for showing me around. Had an absolutely wonderful Thanks, time Gary. today. Thank Cheers, you, mate. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it.